Right, Cauldron, um, <clears throat> 1985 game. It is the game on for March on Martin Grundy's Grundy's Commodore 64 uh, 2024 calendar. I've got the trainer, you can see here this is a trainer, I've loaded this up from um, the Ultimate 2 rather than off cassette. The reason I'm going to play this with a trainer is because I've played this before, I can't even get off, like, I can't even get off the broomstick, you know, so um, I thought if we're going to have a go at playing it, let's put all the trainers on, let's see a bit of the game. Um, so that's what we do, uh, and you can see the trainer too. Uh, let's not read any of that. Unlimited hags, yes, please. Unlimited magic, of course. Start with all the keys, yes. Start with all items, yes. Maybe we'll have some fun. Who knows? That's pretty cool, isn't it? I don't know why it's the March game, really. It should be in November um, or October, really, shouldn't it, for Halloween, but... Right, mixing up. And here we go. So, you start off, you're supposed to fly, but... All the bats killed me straight away. Right now, so we're already in the air, so it's a bit easier. So I think, you know, if we weren't cheating, we'd be uh, trying to land here, potentially, and see if we can do that. Oh, it's so hard. Right, see there, I just landed slightly on a tree, so he died. Right. That should be safe, right? There we go, he landed, so that's something. These... Oh, I tried to fly up then by accident. Right, down. There we go. So we should be able to walk along and pick this thing up. And I think that's like a power-up thing. Um, I don't think you can fly until you're in a clearing. But let's try it. Right, so we're here. No. Oh, that might have been the bat, so I don't know. I know. It is so hard. <laughs> Did I mention it's a tough game? Um, I've never really managed to do anything in it because it's just, you know, back in the day I just found it way too hard. And I've never sat and tried it with a trainer before, so. Right, we're landing at something. Right, we're going into one of the rooms. And now we do a bit of platforming instead of a bit of shooting. So we've got going. I th so you, you you you've no longer got any you you haven't got a fire button. Uh, yeah, I, I double jumped in. I didn't mean to. Oops, didn't mean to do that either. Let's go back and have another go at that then, shall we? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I got my jump right first time, didn't I? So jump straight away. And then maybe just step back. Not quite to the edge. Right. Oh no, I fell off. <sighs> jump. Jump. No, so not quite far enough over. Made it. Didn't make that one. Right, I'm going to have to jump, I think. Oh, that was okay. That worked. Yeah, so lots of leaps of faith. Um, there's not really much signposting. I didn't mean to double jump then either. Just check how I've got auto fire on. No, I haven't. Right, oh no. Moving platforms are always fun. Right, jump. Oh, we made it. But you can't move while you're on it, so jump, 
now. Oh, I've completed the game. Of course, because I've got everything already, haven't I? Well, it's the only way I was ever going to see that screen, to be honest. But maybe we should play again um, and not have all the items to start with. So, uh, just bear with me while we do that. So, you get to see a bit of the inner workings now. So, uh, we're going to go, we've got the game, we're going to mount the disc. We're going to load her up. And because I've got that fast load thing enabled, these disks load a lot quicker. Otherwise, it is slow. It was a slow disk drive. Some nice raster bars. So, we will take this time. Unlimited hags, unlimited magic. We won't start with all the keys and we won't start with all the items. I feel like I just need to slightly adjust this screen so bear with me how's that is that better that seems better we'll leave it there i think okay right sorry if that gave you a bit of nausea right so we've got to oh didn't even know you could go back in might have a little stir <laughs> and out we go okay so let's go for a walk somewhere where we can actually get up in the air So we can fly up here, but there was a magic thing here, wasn't there? So I think if we were low on magic, that would have given us something to... Right, okay, so out we are now. Right, so let's try this again then. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there, because we haven't got a key for it. Let's see. Well, I managed to land, so it's, this train is already paying off. But I can't go in there. Um, there's some more magic. Probably should have just got on my broomstick and had a fly. I can't walk any further that way, so. We're going to go up and we're going to die. But I've got infinite lives, so we can just keep going. There we go. Right, so what's going on here? Hmm. Graveyard. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. Oh, look, there's a key. So we want to land somewhere around here if we can. So that, that looks like a good spot to land. Right, let's go and get that key. Oh, <laughs> I'm the wrong side. So we need to land over here somewhere. Uh, probably. Hmm. What do you reckon? Maybe we can't land, but maybe we can pick it up whilst we're on the broom. Yes, we can. That's something. Right, so that's the purple key. Right, we fly. Oh, woods, more magic down there. Right, where are we now? It's like some sort of. Never seen plants that fire up pumpkins before. Oh, there's a key. You can see how hard this is. I'd have died so many times by now. I couldn't land there. 
So where can I land? Here maybe? Nope. Maybe we can go down and shoot things though. No. Oh, I just about made the key, get the key and died. Oh. You do wonder why they had to make these games so brutal. I mean, I guess it meant you got to play them for longer because they weren't too easy to complete, but they need to be accessible in the first place, I think, sometimes. And this one was definitely missing that. Green key. I quite like the variety though, so you've got the, the platform levels and these levels. <laughs> Which is so frustrating. Just right, let's try that. Yeah, we've got that one. Right, so we don't have a red key, so I don't think we're gonna be able to go in there, but should we try? Can't go in there yet. Okay, so no red key. Well, that's red too. Right, over, over the sea. Like there's sharks in there, shark infested waters. And yeah, it's the birds I'm shooting. Right, okay, so we're back in this sort of place. I don't know whether you, you loop round or not. Oh, there's the red key. I really don't know how I'd get this without infinite lives. This is ridiculous. <laughs> no, even there wasn't quite right, was it? So we just need to... Oh. Deary me. <laughs> Doesn't help that I've got to time it around this yellow plant, I think, because it's. Yeah, there you go. I managed to get down there. I still died, but. Right, so we could go back to the red one now, but. Oh, no, no, we've got purple here. Look, we've got a purple key. So we've got all four keys now, so we should be able to go in the rooms. Let's go and have a look at this one then. Right. Ooh, there's a frog. Oh, I haven't got that timing right, did I? got to jump when you come off a screen you have to you, you've got no choice you have to jump oh did I want to go down it's a bit annoying you haven't got anything to shoot with um, I mean I can just hit these ones because I've got infinite lives but if I didn't, that would be pretty tough. I didn't mean to jump then, but it will spawn me on that one, I think, rather than the previous screen. That's something. So you'd have to avoid these bats. Jump. Yeah. All right, so this one doesn't come underneath. <laughs> Got that completely wrong. Let's 
suspense it's going the right direction, shall we? No, not soon enough. Oh, almost. Looking about now. Yeah. Again, wasn't quite in the right place for that next jump. These screens were there so often in old games, you've got no clue as to where you should actually be going, like from screen to screen. So that's a magic charge up, which I'm sure I would definitely need. Oh. Some real pixel oh pixel perfect jumping. Doesn't help when I sometimes keep the fire button down and end up jumping twice. So you'd have to worry about the time in there as well. Oh so how would we do this? Right, so that don't help much. So I'd wait for it to go just there, I think. No, nope, that would have been bad. Uh, maybe I shouldn't bother pretending. Full sense of security that I could actually do this game when I really couldn't. Right, a bit more, come on. Oh. See, sometimes I double jump, sometimes I don't jump. Yeah, double jump then. That's not what I wanted to do. I think it's probably my fault. Rather than the joysticks, but... We will get through this. I got through it once, didn't I? I got to the top there earlier. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. Making that one, am I? Too soon. Oh. I mean, this doesn't even look like it should be that. Weird. Well, it is obviously hard with all of those uh, enemies there, but um, the platform in itself shouldn't be that difficult, should it? But nope.
double jumped. Fuck's sake. Didn't mean to do that. Right, let's try again. Uh, apologies for the swearing. It's one of those games, I'm afraid. Crying <laughs> uh, oh, out loud. This is worse than Dragon's Lair, isn't it? better for this is jump but <sighs> I think the thing is if you don't so you have to you have to be moving. I'd, I wish you jump straight up. So I've got to walk to the edge to get the right direction on the jump. Oh, for crying out loud! I have a feeling we might be coming close to the end of the video. <laughs> So the, the cassette version I have of this actually is a, a, was a double pack with Cauldron 1 and Cauldron 2 on it, and I think it might have even been a budget release, uh, which obviously was good value. I mean, this game is quite well revered. I, I just find it inaccessibly hard, but um, the second one is a little, little better to play, I think, a little, little more forgiving. And you actually play a pumpkin, which is interesting. You bounce around a bit more. A lot more, in fact. Oh. Right. Right, ten more goes, that's what we're having. Ten more goes. If I don't do it in ten more goes, that's the end of the video. Right, nine more goes. <laughs> Eight more goes. I'm not doing this on purpose, I promise you. I'm just rubbish. Ah, uh, double jumped. Seven more goes. jumped didn't want to do that don't put me down there don't put me down there you bastard you absolute bastard <sighs> all right five more goes I thought I'd got myself a reprieve for a minute Made it up. You see how all those enemies respawned as well, which is 
totally evil, getting all they've done is jumped up and then dropped back down. Luckily, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right, four more goes. Double jumped, three more goes. Two more goes. Too early every time, but That's I knew that was too early. Now, yes. No, double jumped. Right, last go then. Last go, and then we'll call it. And I may never, ever, ever play this game again. Even with the trainer on, it's frustrating as hell. I know I'm making marginal improvements as I play it, but uh, there you go. Alright, <laughs> I think as promised we'll call it there. I think that's long enough anyway. Um, sorry you didn't get to see a bit more of it. But that is Cauldron. Cheers.